just imagine that you are traveling from Hyderabad to Bangalore and you want to track the distance that you need to travel to reach your destination which is Bangalore in this case. So in olden days if you recall they did not have access to Google Maps. So how do you know what distance you have traveled before you reach your destination? Yes, so you would recall that we use or we refer to milestones which is placed along the highway which indicate the distance that you are traveling or the distance that you have traveled to reach your destination. For example, there are some highways in this case from Hyderabad to Bangalore that milestones will be placed along every 5 kilometers which indicate that the distance is getting reduced by 5 kilometers when you travel along the path or when you are traveling on another highway there might be milestones which are placed for every 10 kilometers. Let's take another example that you are waiting for a train in a metro station and you want to figure out how frequently the trains come to the place that you are actually waiting. You will see that the trains that move along the station follow a definite pattern in this case maybe 5 minutes or every 10 minutes. So you will see that when the train arrives at let us say 8.15 in the morning, the next train comes at 8.20 and the next one comes at 8.25 and then 8.30 and so on depending on the traffic along the station so that you can plan when you want to get onto the train and how you will reach your destination. Let us look at some patterns of numbers and try to distinguish what do we call as a sequence and what is not a sequence. Okay, So let us look at a pattern. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Do you observe any pattern in these numbers? Yes, you would have observed that the numbers that I have just explained to you are odd natural numbers or in other words you will see the difference between each of the numbers are differing by 2. Okay, So let us take another example which is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Do you observe any pattern in these numbers? Yes, here also you would have observed that similar to the earlier example, here also the each number will differ by 2 or in other words you will see that these are even natural number starting with 2. So in both cases you have observed that these patterns follow a definite sequence or in other words you can predict what is the next term that is going to come in this pattern. Okay, so let us take another example, right? 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. Can you tell me what is the next term that will come after 25? Yes, as you might be thinking, the next term that comes after 25 is 30 precisely because you are able to identify how the terms are moving or in other words, you would have added 5 to the last term that I just explained, 25 and you will say the next term is 30. So please ensure the three examples that I used come on the same screen when we are explaining the series to the student. So let's move to the next pattern of numbers where they look slightly different from the earlier patterns. Okay. So let us take an example which is 5, 10, 20, 40, 80 and dot dot dot. So in this case if I ask you what is the next term that is going to come after 40 you would be wondering why is it not following the previous kind of pattern that we just explained. Yes, your guess is right. In this case, they do not follow the previous pattern but here you will see that every number is double of the previous number. In this example, if you see 5 is followed by 10 which is double of 5, then 10 is followed by 20 which is double of 10, then 20 is followed by 40 which is double of 20 and the next term if I ask you, you will be easily able to explain me that it is 80 and subsequently 160 and so on. So here also you will see these numbers are following a specific pattern, right? Now let us look at another pattern of numbers, let us say 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and so on. And another example, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and so on. So do you observe any pattern in both the uh, series that I have given to you? Yes, in the first pattern you will see that every number is differing by 3 
or in the second pattern you will see that every number that is coming is double of the previous number. So this is precisely what we are going to learn today that the first kind of patterns that you have observed is called arithmetic progression and the second kind of pattern that you have explained is a geometric progression. Now how do you identify whether it's a geometric progression or arithmetic progression and how do you know how to determine the nth term or sum to n terms in each of these progressions that's the next learning that we will be having. To recap what we have just discussed, when you see a particular pattern in this numbers that we have explained till now, we call them as a sequence. Any numbers in a pattern which do not follow a specific pattern, for example, when we take 1, 4, 6, 9, 11, 12 and so on, you will see that these numbers are moving in from left to right in some random order where you will not be able to identify which is the next number. Compared to our previous examples where we were able to exactly determine what is the next upcoming term, in this case we were not able to identify the next term because they are not following any specific pattern. So just to sum up, the patterns where you are able to identify the next one are called sequences because you follow, they follow a specific pattern and where they do not follow any specific pattern, these are not sequences. Now that we have understood what is a sequence, now let us try to understand what do you mean by a series, right? In the previous examples, I was referring to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. So you are able to tell me what is the next term based on the pattern that you have observed in the first few terms which is the difference between each of these terms is 3. For example, if I want to add the series or if I mention the series as 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 and so on. So where you have seen that I am adding each of these terms. A series is nothing but sum of the terms of a sequence. So when I use the terms, I am referring to each of these individual numbers which is 3, 6, 9 and so on. So just to sum up, a series is nothing but a sum of the sequence or the terms of a sequence which will give me a particular output. 